Hello, today's day 43 of self searching mind. Today is really tiring. <clears throat> it is around 11 o'clock right now, and I'm just so ready to go to bed, man. <laughs> um, yeah, let's see. Today I woke up, did my cold shower, or went outside for a little bit, looked at the sun. Because if you don't know, if you look in the general direction of the sun in the mornings especially right as soon as you get up and then it'll set your circadian rhythm in ready for the entire day and stuff like that and if you like think about it like olden times right the first thing you would do in the morning is basically go outside because there's nothing else to do right go out and start working so that's what, that's what you should try and mimic, right? Go out, go outside and look in the general vicinity of the sun. I learned that from Andrew Huberman. And um, it's working because I'm really tired right now. Usually on weekends, I just stay, I'd stay up because I, didn't really, I wouldn't really go outside up until 12. But I did it first thing in the morning after my cold shower. Now I'm really tired. Um, what else? After my cold shower, I ate breakfast and I just started getting to work. I did a lot of English assignments. I don't know why we, I have so many assignments for that class. And I feel like it's learning pointless things. Like analyzing the structure of sentences and stuff like that. I mean, from a literary perspective, right? If you're into that, then that's cool, but... I don't know what it, you know, how it'll apply to my life. It, it's just whatever. It's like an obstacle you have to go through, right? School. Um, but yeah, after I did that, I took a nap and did some psychology. And then from that, from 4 p.m. to 8, I was just outside. Yeah, I was just riding my bike with my with my friends, you know. Just chilling, talking, and exploring. And you could say that, that that is not a valuable use of my time, right? It could be spent doing more work, but I feel like I did enough work today. And um, it was a good... It, it was much better than spending my time like watching TikTok or playing video games, right? The time that I spent outside, because I'm actually doing exercise and socializing and having fun and exploring, right? And, um, yeah. Uh, what else? After that, I came home, ate food, hung out with family, and did a little bit more work. But I watched this video from Father Spirit on which is an Orthodox priest. And he was talking about, um, along the lines of individuals who partake in too many pleasureful activities, right? Who lack that self-discipline are gonna have a hard time like succeeding and really staying dedicated to um, their their craft and in this case it was overcoming sexual sin right some individuals are like that and that struck home because i remember when i was an individual who would just wake up and uh sleep in all the way and then just stare at my phone for three hours before actually waking up and that period of my life right that like two years ago a year ago that period of my life was when almost no work got done in general. And I wasn't a successful, I, I, I would look forward to the weekend, right? Every single day. And yeah, and the, that statement is very true. So if you are in a position where you lack that discipline, I know whatever you might be abusing, if you might be abusing your sleep time, or you might be abusing your phone, or you might be abusing alcohol, or anything like that, right, try lowering it, try diminishing it so that you can apply that energy that you would have spent into something productive, right, 
And when I refer to you, of course I do mean you, but it's also kind of a reflection back at me, right? I'm telling you guys this so I can tell you and also remind myself. Um, but yeah, that was something pretty cool that I learned today. That if I want to do good in my craft, whatever it might be, and yesterday I kind of went and uh, it was learning, right? If I want to do well in that and learn as much information as I can right now, then I have to first get my actions in order. I have to stop spending so much time on my phone, right? Major. I have to stop giving in to, like, temptations, right? To eat food or do something like that. And stuff like that, right? And just really be able to control your body's impulses. The second you can control your body's impulses, then that's how you know that you can become really successful and really great in anything that you put your mind to. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for watching these videos. I do appreciate that I have a community, right? Um, you guys help me stay on my self-improvement journey. And I do appreciate every single one of you. Uh, I genuinely hope you have a wonderful day and be kind because there's too little room for hatred.